Hello and welcome to Space Engineers with me, Kevin Sawyer. Hope you guys are all well and enjoy your day, whatever you're up to. Um, right, I've made a fair amount of progress to the spaceship here. Um, but I have been having some problems with this thing. For you guys who watch my ATS, you know what I'm on about. Other stuff you know what I'm on about, but <coughs> excuse me for you guys that don't follow any of them and only follow this. I've been having problems getting this thing to fly. Um, yes, and I have named it, I'm gonna call it oh, I've called it Dumbo because it's like a big elephant in a sense. Um, because it's like in order to get this thing to even remotely leave the um, planet, I've had to incorporate these large thrusters on the bottom here. I'm planning to take them off, as well as all these aerated, well, atmospheric thrusters as well. Um, let me just switch on those large control panel. Okay, so today is hopefully we're going to leave it. As you can see, I haven't quite finished it yet. The light's not too great. But I've got some more bits to do on it. Um, it's mainly done um, to a point. I just don't want to put any more weight on this thing until I get it up into this, into the outer atmosphere, or at least out, out the planet. And then, once I've done that, then I'm going to strip down all these large atmospheric thrusters on the side here and use the parts for that to finish off the rest of this thing. Um, one thing I better go and do first. Better go and grab those. I've got some uranium cooking up in here, but not a great deal. Um, Because every time it was just like, right, okay, I got to a point where it could fly, and then it was like, okay, it can fly, but it can't move anywhere. Um, so I had to sort of like incorporate these large thrusters onto it, um, which then could make it fly, but obviously it couldn't make it leave the atmosphere. And so then. I was like, hmm, so I had to just sort of like re-engineer and re-engineer and re-engineer um, to this point and do some off-screen testing to get it to this point. And let's just grab, where are they? Those super coil components. And start taking them up into that ship. Again, hope the weight doesn't make too much difference. The more I put on this, the more heavy it got, and the more heavier it got, the less likely it was going to take off, etc. etc. So I want to get it, like I say, I want to get it up to a point where it's up in the space, and then I will strip that lot all down and then use the rest of the parts from those thrusters to finish the rest of it off. I uh, built this off the screen as well, uh, this little. Uh, I've named it main bug. That's going to stay here. Um, I'm not going to bring it with me. Purely because it's just uh, again more extra weight. I don't want to really want to take with me. I can build another one and retrofit it in a different way. So it does the iron thrusters rather than um, atmospheric thrusters or whatever. But well, at some point I'm going to need to think about building a ship that can sort of like travel between at least um, planet side and uh, space side. Something small just to travel between the two. So this can sort of like stay docked up in space because that's where it's going to stay from now on. Sorry guys, but it's not going to. It's too much of a faftus to get it off. 
It's fine for any planets that don't have any atmosphere. Any planets that don't have an atmosphere, it's fine. It'll work fine, it'll take off on its own, it'll just be pretty really slow. Um, anything that has an atmosphere, the iron thrusters just can't work. So there you have to use an atmosphere purely atmospheric thrusters or and or um, Hydrogen thrusters, sorry, my brain went a bit to sleep then. I couldn't think what I was thinking of. But that is the problem with this. It just, uh, it's too heavy. So, this is as much as I'm risking to get on this. Um, I've got this large, um, I've got this gravity uh, generator. Turn it on. See, that's going to make any difference to it. it trying to fly. So see, I haven't even finished this off yet. So there's lots to finish off on this thing. I'm going to need to put some lights into it as well. But again, I want to do that all up on the uh, in space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on them ones and then turn on them ones and then hopefully, hopefully. I say, we'll save it here just in case. This thing's gonna leave leave the planet, hopefully. Right, G. Oh, no. um, base camp. This thing has, as I say, being like an elephant in the room in a sense. It just, it's like, uh, it doesn't want to fly. Right, let's go. And let's hope this thing can get off the planet. I'm just going to get it up to speed for now. Once it's up to speed, I'm then going to disengage the small thrusters because the big thrusters are more than enough to keep it propelled. And then I'm going to just increase that to about five, maybe six. Five should do it. Yeah, five's more than enough. Just to give it some altitude. De-engage. It's probably a bad idea at this stage, but because we're going so f far forward, it shouldn't make too much difference. Maybe it does. Come on. Now the, you can see that the uh, hydrogen, not hydrogen, sorry, the um, iron thrusters are working. And because the higher we get, less oxygen there is, less oxygen there is, the more likely they're going to work. They don't seem to work when there's oxygen about for some reason. I don't know. Well, I'm not a scientist, so or a space engineer, so well, I'm not a space engineer, but what's the word I'm thinking? Of? Astronaut. I'm not a qualified astronaut, so. That's where the problem lies. Let's see if I can get away reducing the thrust a little bit more. Starts to drop off, increase it again. I think we're high enough up now to reduce 
reduce its thrust a little bit. We're still climbing. Thrusters are doing well. We've still got a fair amount in there. What I want to do is turn them thrusters off and see how much difference that makes. So if I press free. Blasting on. Once we get to about 37,000 feet, it should be okay. 35,000 feet. And there should be enough of a gravity loss to warrant. Sorry, I've gone quiet. I'm concentrating, just making sure this thing doesn't end up plummeting into the ground again. Still climbing, which is good. Once it gets high enough, then I'm going to reduce the throttle and see what happens. Yeah. So I've reduced the throttle now, and that has no effect. So we've reduced the throttle enough now, or we've got reduced gravity enough now, that we can actually reduce, uh, turn off these main thrusters and let it just coast for a little while. The earth is the, the ground is still having some sort of pull to it, but not a great deal enough. I'll let the, it, the gravitational pull pull us like towards it, maybe this will help. Does that increase the speed? Yeah, that does increase the speed. So we can uh, just rely purely on these main thrusters now. And those big hydrogen thrusters will be going as well. They're just there, they were just there to help us get off the planet. But don't worry, I'm not going to desert the planet. I'm just going to get to a point where I'm happy with this thing. I've got sort of like some supplies on the ship already. enough. So we can disengage the uh, dampers on. Reduce its speed even more. Hopefully this is high enough now that it's not going to be a factor. And it doesn't matter too much if I build sorry about each year, another ship on that's on this that's purely space. I'll wait till it stops moving before I get out of the seat. One well, first things first, we're gonna need to get some more ice for this but as I said we can build another version of the Maybug. And uh hopefully say hopefully I can uh, bulk this out a bit. I might put some hydrogen thrusters on the front of this ship as well, just an extra backup. Let's stop moving. We have gravity, which is good. We've got plenty of options.
Right, okay. So we've made it out to space. Which is good. What I'm going to do is open this up. Fully. Depressurize this. Depressurize. That should take all the air out of the room, hopefully. I put my jack. Uh, this on. Okay. It's Taking some of the oxygen out of this room. Why is there so much pressure here? Is there a door open? Oh, where are they? No, that's all shut. That's all shut. So we're going to have to open those doors and create a vacuum. This could be potentially dangerous. Uh, hang on, door. bits off of this. Let's stop putting them in the ship. back towards Earth. Right, okay. I've got this port up here. Start putting some of these components into the ship. This should lighten it up, hopefully. You say hopefully. And give us enough bits now as well to... Uh, those bits, they're going to go hurtling back down to the planet. Got to be careful about that, because uh, if they start raining down on the actual planet, on my base, it's going to cause all sorts of havoc. Let's, let's put one of these oxygen bottles that's not a good idea. Oxygen bottle, hydrogen bottle, hydrogen bottle, hydrogen bottle. And one of these hydrogen bottles, we don't need two. That should reduce our weight a bit. Uh, let's reduce, let's get rid of this gun as well. Put that in there. I want to put that in the car, part of the seat initially. But just have to keep an eye on my oxygen and everything else. Again, it's going to be a bit rinse and repeat, sorry guys, but 
at least we've got to space. Actually, what I might do once I reduce the weight a bit, I might test out. I could do that now, really. I mine. Oh, yeah, it's probably going to rain down on that, hopefully. Oh, really? Yeah, that's going to rain down. Oh, wow. Okay. That's going to. Oops. More bits raining down. I hope they burn up on the. Earth's atmosphere. I have to figure that was going to happen. <laughs> right, okay. Um. Where's the oxygen? I've got 100% oxygen in bottle. Hydrogen, I've got 100% on there. Let's do that now, actually. Let's just save it this again. Come back in here. Close the door. I need to build a button for the door so I can just close, open, close it easier without having to do that. Repressurize this room. That's what the timer blocks are coming handy as well. Infantry. Uh, no control panel. I want to turn depressurization off. That should slowly increase the pressure in this room. There we go. Room's fully pressurised. This one won't be though. Uh, but if I then look up to that, in fact I probably can do that. Yeah, yeah I can. And then in a door and then open. If there's enough, we're out of enough. It's built up a little bit of hydrogen. Let's Not a great deal though, so we need to get some more ice. There's a lot of things I need to get done on this thing. Uh, at least we are fairly away from the gravitational pull of the of the sh of the uh, planet now it's very slow why well, just put on those ones that help push push it up quicker I don't think it's 
even enough hydrogen to do that. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong thing, that's fine. There we go. That should help. There we go. But there's plenty of ice up here to sort of get going with. No gravity now. It's all just um. It's just been no gravity. Whoa! Really? We all slow it down. Oh, I doubt that's what they are. See if the uh, let's see if the thrusters actually work. Well, not the thrusters, sorry. They save it again at this point. Save. I'm gonna button up that door as well. Save it at this point. And then if I close that other back door again, I should repressurize that back room a bit at least. So, let's see how this jump drive works. and jump drive that there oh, I might let me select it why might you let me select it no maybe because it's not switched on control panel jump drive to on. Blind jump. Charge on. Show block on toolbar config on. That's why. Let's have a jump drive on that one. And jump. Right, okay. Uh, so, that's number six, isn't it? So, six. Would you like... No, hang on. Jump drive, jump. Jump, jump, 
drive to distance, let's reduce its distance to um, I'm going to go safe, say 50% See what happens. Six. Here we go. Oh wow, that's cool. Oh well, that's pretty cool. I have to wait for it to recharge now. How's this maneuverability on this thing? Probably get better once we... Uh, that's not too bad. Once we put more gyros in, it'll get a lot better. I want to point it roughly. Oh, we think... It, point it roughly that way. Uh, and then go press 6 again. Oh, jump drive is not really nice. Slightly charged, so we've got to wait for that to charge. While we. Uh, let's see how long it's going to take jump drive. Fully recharged in two minutes, okay. Well, let's recharge it. I'm gonna go grind some more. Bits off. Make this thing even lighter, hopefully. sun on here. We don't have to worry about the... Which we had to... I wonder how if we get to the sun. I wonder if that's an actual, an actual point, a re re reachable point, or whether that's just... Whether that's just a skybox. It is one, it's one something which we might have to attempt. I want to take a picture of the planet one night, actually. Put my tools away and tab to get rid of the thing. There we go. Space. The final frontier. Copyright strike, copyright strike. Uh, anyway, go back to grinding. This time. Careful mind that we don't end up inadvertently. This should lighten up a lot actually by putting all this, taking this off. And it'll give us all the parts we need. Hopefully, enough parts we need, if not, to finish the ship. Oops. Oh, I keep doing that when I can do it outside, actually. Close that. I just wonder if it's been two minutes yet on this. I don't think it has. But let's put these bits in here. to build a little mining vessel at least. So 
more bits and bobs and mine whatever one of mine from close by asteroids so this thing's going to stay out in space sorry guys right jump drive Let's see if we can get yeah here we go again started roughly cool cool back to grinding then shut those back up I wonder what actually let's build a control panel here Control panel. Build a control panel. And uh, let me. Is it under a button? I had an initial problem with that as well. It kept on lo losing oxygen. Um, this year, so I did just reposition a few blocks behind it, and it's fine now. Uh, interior panel. Have we got some? Yes, we have. That's fine. I think that's a cool place for it to go. I can spin it around proper. There we go. We're gonna need displays or something silly like that. No, just needs construction components and computer. Cool. Build this and then I'll leave it at that, guys. As I'll show you, basically, um, show you what I have got done quickly before I go. Um, if I go this way, they're out again. Um, so I've made a start on all this. There you can see the gyros built here. I yet to build the battery cells, need to build them, I need to build this one as well. Um, but now we've got it up and out of the atmosphere. That's the main thing. That's the thing I wanted to achieve today. What I want to do is set these up on a timer block as well. So then I can make an actual intelligent compression and decompression. It's uh, button one. Uh, so functions groups door one button two can be in a door. Cool. 
So now that should work with that. Let's quickly test it. Now that should work. Might be because they're switched off. Let's quickly look. Uh, door group is on. Inner door is off, so turn that on. There we go. That should fix it. There we go. That makes life a bit easier, doesn't it? Shut that door down. Until this vent to depressurize. Cool. No more pressure in here. Open that door. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, like I said, and uh, if you did, again guys, please feel free to like, and um, if you know anyone else that may also enjoy watching this episode, again guys, feel free to share, it helps me out a lot, and I don't mind you guys sharing. Uh oh, more bits falling to the ground. I see that a lot of that happening. There's going to be lots of bits strewn all over the planet, I can see. Hey ho. Anyway, sorry, I was just saying, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, again, please feel free to like. And if you know anyone else that may also enjoy it, please feel free to share. I don't mind you guys sharing, and it helps me out a lot anyway. Um, but until then, I'll see you in the next one. TTFN.